dear students, uh, welcome to introduction to nanoscience and nanotechnology lecture number 26. And this lectures, uh, we will continue our discussions on the characterization techniques for the nanomaterials. And as a part of the imaging methods, uh, we will have uh, some sort of sh short discussions on atomic force microscopy and scanning tunneling microscopy. I'm Dr. Parvez Ahmed, so let's proceed towards uh, today's lecture. Uh, so, before uh, going to uh, have a discussion on the uh, F, uh, uh, AFM and STMs, uh, we, we, we should know about the scanning probe uh, microscopy. So, what actually we do in a scanning probe microscopy, uh, because you know that AFM and STM, they both are uh, the part of the scanning probe mic uh, microscopy. So, uh, actually, uh, in scanning probe microscopy, we basically measure feedback from automatically defined TIF. I mean, uh, you know that, uh, just like we mentioned some of the, in some of the introductory lectures uh, that uh, in scanning probe microscopy, whether uh, it's AFM or it's STM, so both of them that utilize a TIF uh, to scan the material or to interact with the material. So, uh, uh, what actually we have in scanning probe microscopy, uh, it's basically measure the feedback from automatically defined tab. Uh, then uh, you know that we have many type of the feedback, and these feedback uh, it depend upon uh, the tab. I mean how uh, I mean it depend upon the tip type and how the tip interact uh, with the uh, sample. So based on the interactions on the tab. Uh, we have two main kind of the scanning probe microscopy. The first one is called uh, atomic force uh, microscopy, uh, which is uh, the main principle for the AFM of atomic force microscopy is uh, the force between the sample and the tab. I mean, uh, in this kind of microscopy, uh, we have uh, the, which can be regarded as the working principle of the AFM. Uh, so the working principle of AFM is uh, basically the forces between the sample and the uh, TEF, uh, I mean, it is it's the uh, the two component. Uh, just because of get, we, we we just because of that, uh, we get uh, the sample uh, image. Then we have STM or standing turning microscopy, and uh, the basic principle for getting the image in the STM is uh, that we have tunneling current between uh, sample and the uh, TEF. So this is the difference here. You can clearly visualize the difference between. Uh, and F, uh, uh, AFM and STM. That is, uh, and first we have uh, the force between the sample and the tap, and the second we have uh, the tunneling current between the sample and the tap. So let's proceed toward the first one that we call uh, scanning tunneling uh, microscopy. So here uh, you can see not only, uh, I mean, here you can see not only the setup, but this setup is also provide a sort of the working principle. Uh, it can create a view that how a uh, scanning tunneling uh, microscope it works to visualize uh, or to image uh, a sample. So here you can see uh, this is the sample, uh, and here this is the device. I mean, here it, it, it is the overall. Uh, it's the picture of overall device. I mean, uh, somehow you can say the internal structures of the uh, STM or scanning tunneling uh, microscope. So here uh, we, we put the sample. So uh, we have the interactions uh, of the tap with the sample. So tip scan uh, just above the surface of the stage. So this is the surface of the stage and where we put the sample. And with this tap, uh, we just scan the surface. So electron uh, at the surface, they have a small probability of escaping the material. Uh, to the tap, uh, creating uh, this basically creating uh, what this basically creating the tunneling current. So the tunneling currents, uh, just like we mentioned, is depend upon the distance between the tip and the sample. So this distance is being controlled with the help of this unit. Here you can see that uh, here uh, this is the tunneling current amplifier, and this tunneling current amplifier has been uh, been linked with the distance control and scanning unit. With the help of this, uh, we can control the distance. So, depend upon this distance, I mean, uh, the image varies from, uh, uh, I mean, the variations and the uh, what's called 
uh, the surface, uh, I mean, uh, the damage quality basically depends upon the distance between this uh, step and the sample, which is varied with the help of this device that we have here, this unit here inside the device. So this control the distance and this also, uh, I mean, define the image quality. I mean, it's how closer the tape interact. So the more clear view uh, it will create. And then all these bins will length with the data processing and display, uh, which is uh, more, uh, I mean, uh, uh, which is in more cases a computer screen with the help of which you can see uh, the individual's atoms or molecule at the surface of uh, uh, materials. So here you can see uh, in individual's uh, atoms, uh, individual atoms here you can see platiniums and nickel atoms on an alloy surface. So these are the individual's atom in platinum and nickel atoms, uh, nickel alloy, platinum nickel alloy atoms you can see it here with the help of STM image. And this is the setup, uh, I mean the, an STM setup or STM device uh, which uh, you might have in your lab if you're working in well reputed university of the world. So normally they have the STM setup, so same setup look like this. Uh, and this is the typical image of platinum and nickel alloy. And here you can see the individual atom with the help of uh, STM. Uh, atomic force microscopy. So here uh, you can see uh, the atomic force microscopy uh, typical setup. That is, uh, we have a laser source, and that laser source we basically control with the cantilever uh, with the tap. And uh, where this tap is being utilized to interact with the sample. Uh, that has been put on the scanners and we have uh, a segmented photo diode. So uh, what, I, what happened actually in this, so tip scan across the surface, here you can see this is the sample surface and this is the tab. So this tab is being used uh, to scan across the surface. So uh, we have this laser source, laser source reflect up the cantilever to a photo. Uh, detectors. So uh, we have feedback loop that changes step to sample distance. I mean feedback loop changes uh, the step uh, sample distance. I mean we have uh, distance to maintain the distance between the step and the sample for that we utilize feedback loop and that basically uh, uh, determines just like we mentioned we said that uh, we have the forces uh, between the uh, cantilevers, uh, sorry, between the tip and the uh, sample. Uh, so that force basically uh, it determine uh, the structures of the uh, sample surface. Uh, so this is being controlled with the head of feedback uh, loop. So uh, I mean it's basically defined as uh, the quality of the image with the help of atomic force microscopy. So height changes. Um, I mean uh, uh, if we move it up and down, are we created? I mean, uh, so these high changes, they are, they are being recorded and uh, along with that also uh, the quality of the image is also being uh, recorded. So here's, uh, I mean, uh, you can visualize for yourself the cantilever and tap. I mean, there is, you can visualize that how the cantilever has been length uh, in the uh, atomic force microscopy, it's a bigger view. And this is, uh, I mean, it's the uh, cantilever and the tap. So if you enlarge it here from a top view, so uh, it look like this. And if you visualize this from, uh, I mean from below, so the tip, you can uh, more accurately visualize the tip of the uh, atomic force uh, microscope. So here is the device. Uh, the device, a clear look of the atomic force microscopy is very simple device. And these are the image structures that are being taken with the help of atomic force microscopy. You might be unaware about this one, but this one is uh, very clearly and easily, uh, I mean, understandable. I mean, it's, uh, it's not a complicated structure. It's basically the butterfly wing. Uh, so uh, it's how the butterfly long, uh, the butterfly uh, wings uh, look like if you visualize it with the help of an atomic force uh, microscopy. So this sum, somehow a short lecture about uh, the scanning cloning microscopy and atomic force microscopy because we already had a discussion about these two kind of microscopy and the starting lectures uh, of this particular uh, course. I hope uh, you enjoy these lectures 
and it might have reviewed some of your concept uh, about the previous lectures. So stay tuned with the next lecture because with the help of these devices, uh, the characterization devices, we will proceed to lecture number 27 uh, because in that lectures, we will have to put an eye on the uh, futures of nanotechnology and the field of uh, biomedical. So stay tuned with the next lecture. Uh, see you there. Till then. Bye-bye.